Hello guys, how are you? Today I'm making a content in English regarding RHD, Reviving Hell Dungeon. And at this stage, where it is at the Awakened level 9, when you are choosing your fighter, which fighter to awaken, you can uh, take a look at three points. One is what kind of grade is it? Is it fast? Two, does it have bleed? You know, does it have uh, damage uh, over time, like bleed, like shock, like poison? Yeah, if there is, and you have the memory, then you should uh, try to awaken those. So, for example, for yellow element, yellow element, the fighters there are not many. Okay, you have uh, pretty zero, which I think is a strongest uh, direct damage dealer. And then you will have Terry, same, it's a direct damage dealer, but um, pretty zero is better. And you also have Orochi Iori, which is also good dam uh, direct damage dealer, and it is uh, equally strong because the critical buff is very high. And I think Orochi Iori is uh, also quite good because each time he did his show, he will get a reset, but still, it is still categorized as direct damage dealer. Okay, now coming to the collab fighters like Kazuya. Kazuya is equal, is also a very good fighter. If you if you can awaken him or if you have him, you play during the attack and he is also quite good. And the easy one would be Charlotte. Okay, if you have Charlotte and and you have a lot of uh, AS uh, memories, I suggest you build Charlotte too. Because in this uh, RHD, you will need more than one fighter of each color. Yeah, because the capsules that are given is very limited, and you will not be able to level everyone up. Okay, now coming to why I said that Charlotte is a good fighter because it has a very huge bleed damage. Okay, it has bleed uh, damage debuff from her skills and she also has damage explosion so she can apply the bleed and then explode it can apply the bleed and explode it this is why she is very good because for damage over time like bleed poison burn effect yeah all of, like chill all of this it doesn't get the damage mitigation so for example if you are in a stage where you require level 9 you only have uh, maybe level 6 your damage will be extremely low. In uh, if the stage level is nine, if you only have your fighters at level seven, two levels below, generally you can still clear the dungeon, albeit more difficult. But when your fighter is three levels below, the damage mitigation is extremely huge, and the enemies will get very little damage from your direct damage but your damage over time still comes in 100% it doesn't it doesn't get a damage reduction effect due to level okay and in this video i will prove it to you right you can see from the difference in the direct damage from the hits and from the bleed the kind of damage that the bleed does okay next going to the striker Many people say that the striker, you need super armor, you need heal, you need power gain. That is not good enough, okay? Because the striker, you need damage over time. You need bleed, yeah? The fighters that I can recommend is for bleed, I think the best will be AG. And then for burn, you can use Q97, the balanced red color. And if you have Kula Idol, she also provides a very good chill damage. And yeah, how Maru if you have Gonits because when Gonits do the grab, do the striker skill, there is also a additional bleed damage. Or you can also use mature. Yeah. Basically fighters that can do damage over time, you know, in terms of bleed, poison, burn, chill. It will be extremely helpful to you. And also the final point. Okay, so the first one will be your, will be the grade. 
the second one will be the damage over time the third one will be the kind of special cards that they have if you can have one hero that is fast and that is also have uh, damage over time and also has a 3 PG special card that will be your top priority to awaken and to level up yeah but this fighter is extremely limited one good example will be the rock the rock is an extre extremely strong fighter for clearing RHD but there is only one fighter <laughs> how about the other colors okay so for example like this yellow we don't have the fast fighter with uh, damage over time and also has three PG special card at least not yet yeah at this moment okay let's go into the stage and let's take a look what kind of damage that Charlotte did yeah Charlotte is level 4 which is 5 levels below the stage and we will take a look Okay, let's take a look if your level is the same as the stage okay this is too noisy let me turn off the volume okay. you see the damage is extremely high yeah look at that okay okay now we take a look at this look at the bleach from ag yeah look at that eleven thousand. that is quite big you know oh okay let's, let's see shut up Okay, let's see the damage. Look at that. It's only 100, 300. Yeah, it is extremely low. But look at the bleed damage 5000, 5695 per tick. And this one, it can be exploded. Take a look. Yeah, the one that killed this guy, it is not the direct damage, but rather it is the. You see, it is the bleed effect. Okay, take a look. Yeah, this bleed from AG can be exploded by Charlotte. Look at that. Charlotte is a uh, five level below and it can still kill extremely well. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy, huh? Look at that. Crazy, right? Yeah. Normally, you will not be able to kill the enemies when you are five level below. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Crazy. Look at that, die, yeah. So if you have a direct damage, uh, if you have direct damage dealer, you will not be able to kill the monsters here when you are five levels below. Okay, so that's why if you have uh, fighters with damage over time, it will make your life much easier in this uh, in this uh, RHD. Now let's take a look what kind of damage that Kazuya did. He is two levels below the stage, level seven, and the stage is level nine. That's why uh, I said, right? Two levels below, you still can deal considerable amount of damage. Let's take a look at. Okay, look at that. Yeah, although not as much, but it is still, it can still kill it. Yeah, and you take a look the damage from Haomaru. You see, you can still kill it because two levels below only. Yeah. But if you take a look at this uh, Charlotte, 5 levels below, the damage is, is extremely bad. It's only 100, 300, 400. But the bleed damage is crazy, it's insane. It is what's killing them, you see? Yeah, and Kazuya have 3 PG special skill, which is extremely good. Okay, look at, yeah, look at that, the damage from Halmar. 50k, you know? And also, uh, striker's damage does not get uh, damage mitigation from the level, like in level, like in level, yeah, does not get that damage mitigation. So it is still hundred percent. So that's why the striker, if you can get the one with the bleed effect, with the damage over time effect, is also good. But if you don't have, then I think you will just uh, go with the one that deals the highest damage uh, multiplier, like four hundred percent, four hundred fifty percent, that kind of thing. Okay. So that's why I said, look at that. That's why I said, uh, four level, uh, two levels below, you will still be able to kill it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's see this guy. Look at that. Oof. Crazy. Extremely strong. Okay. 
look at that. Charlotte is extremely strong. Ooh, look at that. Okay. She is five levels below and and yet she can kill the guys here. Yeah. It is uh, extremely good. That's why bleed bleed damage, uh, damage over time, DOT is very important here. Yeah. And this is the only way for you to fight if you don't have enough uh, awakening capsules. But of course, ideally, look at that. Even the ultimate, it is only how much? Uh, Thirty only. Yeah. But of course, the best is if you can get all level nine. But doing that is extremely difficult, right? You know, I know. I've been there, I know it. And not only that, this content is a power-up dungeon and should be treated as such. So you don't have to, you know, uh, think that you have to clear it at the fastest possible time. No, 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 you cannot clear that way. Yeah, this is a uh, take time and you need to farm this. If you're stuck, if you're stuck, and you can and it is difficult for you to clear the boss stage it is better you stuck at that tier so you can continue to farm stage 1 to stage 5 because you cannot go down in tier you will stay in this tier you cannot i stay in tier 10 i can kill the boss but it is uh, difficult and if i kill the boss i may not be able to clear the next tier stage 1 to stage 4 or stage 5 even because the cut off it is always stage 5 when you find a stage 5, there will always an increment in the requirement, the higher difficulty in the recommended CP and the recommended fight. Okay, recommended fighter element type, the condition now is still the same as tier 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. As a matter of fact, each tier, the difference is only found starting in stage 5. So that's why in tier 10, stage 1 to 4, it is still the requirement of stage 9 stage 5 and tier 10 uh, requirement will start in stage 5 which which will be brought over to tier 11 okay this one we need purple yeah so purple we will need a, uh, try to get in a lot of uh, damage over time debuff lovely kula has chill uh vanessa baseball also has chill Orochi also has burn. Okay, so that's why I use uh, I use this uh, AG for bleed. Uh, Q97. Q97 is a very good uh, burn effect, 54%, which is quite high. Yeah, and AG is the highest, 60% for 10 seconds. Yeah. And this one, Lady Yashio is also very good. Very good uh, gold ball that you can awaken and you can level up because she has a shock explosion. Yeah. Basically, the guiding principle for this is that if you want to use direct damage, you try to get the level at the minimum two level below the stage level. Yeah, and if you don't, if you don't have good fast fighter, but you have gold fighter that has a damage over time debuff and also has explosion. That can also be awakened and can be leveled up, yeah, especially if that per if that fighter has three PG special card. Okay, let's go. Let's take a look. Okay, look at that even the boss died just from the three striker debuff
Okay, finish. This is extremely easy because I am uh, awakening all of these uh, meta fighters first. Okay, now we need blue. Nah, blue it is also difficult. Yeah, for blue I use uh, the rock. I also use Mukai and I use this. Uh... Okay, I think for the rock we better equip a good card. This the rock uh, only have one type of bleed, so not so good. But it is still a better choice because it has bleed. Yeah, and secondly, I have Mukai. Uh, we don't have that many fast fighter, so yeah. So we just need to take whatever that we have. Too bad Rock Howard hasn't come out. Okay, for the moment, we take off uh, Kazuya's first. Oh man! Hmm. Okay, now Leona. Okay, we borrow the first one now. Leona is better than Mukai. Why? Because she has shock damage and she has high critical. So for this uh, RHD, you can awaken her first, then Mukai. Okay, the role is only level 4, so we can expect his damage will be extremely low. But it's okay. Because we have uh, I have already, I already have two fighters that that has the required awaken level. Okay. I will show you the difference in stage when I when it comes to stage five, the difference in the in the tier requirement and what you can expect for the future. Okay. So always use the AG and all the strikers. This is extremely important. Uh oh. Uh, I should use Haomaru oh, I hate this Too bad she doesn't have a 3PG card Okay. Ah, uh, this chan. I hate this chan because she is very heavy and the gravitational effect is very high, and we cannot. Uh... Okay, three PG. You see, the damage is very low, but you look at that uh, damage over time. Crazy, right? Okay. That's why this 3 PG is uh, extremely important and it can help a lot to you know to waste time so that to buy time for your mid fighter to have uh, 
no? so that your main fighter have time to recover the skill. Fighting her is difficult for Yona because she cannot be thrown up. Blue is, I think, one of the most challenging one because we don't have enough uh, fight good fighter for blue. Yeah, so now we have red. Red is also one of my strongest team. It has the Rock and it has uh, Hamaru and Rugal. Okay, let's take a look at the damage that the Rock can give. <laughs> it is. It is crazy, I tell you. Can take a look like that. The damage that the rock deals, although he is only level five. How about the mega Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's follow the rocks. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do some experiment again, like Charlotte. Okay. Let's take a look at the damage that Omega Rugal deals. Okay. Look at the chill damage here. Yeah? It's extremely high. Yeah. One more. Whoa. Okay. The damage is very high. Yeah. Because the 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 awakened level is very high. Okay. Look at that. You see, the damage is crazy, right? Even Mature's damage is high. Look, look at the bleed. Look at the bleed. 16,455. Look at the direct damage. Yeah, 740. Only 500. 700. And it's not even 1,000. Okay, now we use how Maru Rainbow. Yeah. While we waste time like this, look at the damage ticking. Yeah, the, the damage over time. 13k, 13k, 13k. And that's why I said Haomaru is uh, one of the one of the fighters that can deal that can kill this uh, content although the level is still very low. This level is only level 4. Yeah. It's crazy man. Yeah. So that's why the the trick is in the damage over time. You see? The direct damage is only 100, 200, 300 only. The highest it is only 1,500. Yeah, but the damage over time is 16,000 per tick. Okay. So the the special skills can be used to waste time. Okay, now we use Hammer Rainbow again because these kind of uh, special skills are very uh, time saving. Let me take a look yeah. It's okay. I will just finish up this timer. Oh. Okay, let's take a look at the rock. Look at that. Died <laughs> from the bleed. Okay, let's take a look at the damage the, the boss health bar. Look at the boss health bar. Okay, look at the boss health bar. You see? Look at look at the boss the boss health bar. Crazy, right? And he is only level five, four levels below. His direct damage is extremely weak, but his uh, bleed damage is extremely high. Look at that. It's crazy, right? The AG 11k, okay, but the rock 13k. And please take note, the bleed effect from from skill two and skill three is two type, two different types, so it can stack. And not only that, the rock has uh, additional damage deal when dealing damage to this uh, 
when dealing damage to this uh, bleed target with bleed effect and I think the damage is about 200% of attack power or 220 of attack power and that damage also does not get mitigated so the damage is extremely high as well Let's take a look at the rock at the normal wave. He can clear the wave very very fast. You know, even as fast as a, like a level 7, two levels below the stage. First, we do this, and we use up the skill, and we do this, and then we okay, we finish up here, and then we change back to the rock. Do see very fast, right? Die, just like that. Very good. The rock is extremely strong. That's why I say the rock is extremely strong here. Okay. You see the way he clears, although he is only level 5. Crazy, you know. That's why I say he is one of the uh, good fast that you can that you can uh, give priority to for awakening. Die just like that. The rock level 4 is extremely scary. Finish. His time is up, my man. Okay, let's use a uh, Hamaru. Whoa, 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 whoa! Scary. Nakoruru is also very good because she has a uh, bleed and burn. Okay, let's take a look here. Do. Three PG again. That's why three PG it really helps a lot. Look at that. Look at all the burn from the Xiaomi. Eh, uh, from the Xiaomi from Mature and from Hamaru. Hamaru can give two stacks of bleed I think. Yeah, it has two stacks of bleed. One stack is from the core while the other stack is uh, from the skill 3. Ugh, I missed. His core uh, gives uh, bleed when he criticals while his uh, skill level uh, skill 3 Provides a uh, provide its own uh, bleed knowledge. Look. <laughs> okay. So that's why, uh, even though just gold border, uh, some show like Kalmaru is very good. Kalmaru is better than Genjiro for PVE because of the bleed effect and his skills are very fast in animation, faster than Genjuro.